How is it possible that the human minds are so different? I have been thinking about this question a lot and I'm really fascinated about the individual intelligence of us humans and to understand more how this develops. And on the other side, I'm also interested in seeing how we try to use human knowledge and intelligence and put it into what we consider today AI, intelligent technologies. I think we have to find a sustainable way of using the knowledge that we have about human intelligence when we put it into intelligent technologies that we are using today. My name is Nadine. I'm from Germany and I'm a PhD student at OIST. The human mind is something beautiful. It starts developing from the very first moment when we become part of this world. And I'm interested in how we adapt our behavior to the environment and especially in situations where we interact with other people. That we change the way we think, our understanding for each other and how we act. It's very complicated to study this in real world scenarios because there are many factors that influence our behavior. And this is where neurorobotic studies can help us. So I am using small humanoid robots, two of them, to analyze like each robot individually, how it changes its own behavior and its understanding of the other robot and how this changes the context and how they interact and adapt to each other. When I came to Okinawa, I met my husband. We have a one-year-old son now and we are expecting our second child. And um, it's wonderful to have a family here in Okinawa, especially in Oist. Um, we get a lot of support. The island is wonderful to explore with a family, small children. But it's also definitely challenging. Being a PhD student is not always easy. We have a busy schedule and being a parent, um, same. Uh, the schedule is also very busy. So it was very important for me to find a way how to balance these two topics and create a network of support that allows me to be a successful PhD student and have a healthy family life. For me, it was difficult to balance the idea that I leave my son with two months old um, with someone else. This is where the Ganshu Wellbeing Services here at OIST helped me. Ganshu is a group of clinical psychologists and they are trained to show us like our way that works for us individuals to balance these challenges. Overall, they provide support to the entire OIST community, to our students, to the family members. So Ganju understood my individual situation and this is what was most successful, that they could give me individual advice how to overcome these challenges. OIST provides us great support to have a family here. As a PhD student, we have the Child Development Center here on campus. We have um, bilingual support, we have English, Japanese. They accept children from two months old, which allows us to return to research quite timely and know that our children are in good hands. Another thing that I liked about OIS was that the student support team helps us finding apartments, they help us finding bank providers. So basically it's a general life support for everything that we can imagine here in living in Japan as a foreigner. So what I like about being in academia is that we are always close to the cutting edge findings of our field. I want to stay close to academia and help transitioning the knowledge about artificial intelligence into the private sector and government organizations. I think there's still a lot of uninformed decisions that are made about intelligent technologies these days and I want to help to bridge this gap. Students interested in multidisciplinary research, OIST has a lot to offer and they allow us to design our own research projects and there is a great support network that allows us to accommodate many different needs and expectations that we might have in personal situations. So OIST is a place where we can stay curious as researchers and have a healthy life.